Hey everybody, my name is Ted Forbes. Welcome back to another episode of The Art of Photography. This is definitely a vlog edition today. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Kodak today. And uh, what inspired this? Well, recently we've talked about the Minimalist Dark Room. I've talked about the Ultimate Guide uh, to, developing, to Developing Black and White Film. And I have mentioned Kodak Triax a lot. I've mentioned some Kodak chemicals. And I have to admit, I have not kept up with the news lately. And I got a comment uh, today on the vlog. Uh, and somebody had said, you know, hey, what about Kodak and what are they doing? If you don't know what's going on, I'm going to explain this and try to make a little bit of sense out of it um, as far as what we know as photographers and, you know, what little we can count on or, you know, what's going to happen. Um, if you don't know and you haven't heard the news, Kodak is actually filed for bankruptcy right now, which means basically what happens is a bunch of people, and I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know enough about the ins and outs, but people come into the company and they try to figure out, um, you know, is the company still salvageable? What are they going to come out doing? It's a reorganization. Um, and Kodak, God bless them. I love the film they make. I love the papers they used to make and have discontinued the chemicals. It's just, it's a classic company. It's been around a long time. And what's difficult about this is that they filed for bankruptcy. Kodak, in maybe a less annoying sense, but in the same sense, has become what happened to Polaroid a few years ago when things started falling apart. And basically, at first, they came out and said, okay, well, we find the film division is still profitable. We're going to leave it that way. And part of why that is, is because of motion picture film and that's still used in a little bit of television and a lot of movies. Um, you know, they have products like Vision 3 that is a movie film that, that is more or less one of their color films for, um, for C41. Um, and so there's some repackaging and some dual purpose that goes along. Um, unfortunately, what has happened is, is I noticed that a couple days ago, Kodak, the, the people who are working on this bankruptcy thing have decided that they are going to sell off their film division. So I don't know what that means. Uh, this is very unfortunate, but I mean, folks, we see the writing on the wall, especially if you're a film shooter. Um, it, it's weird because, I mean, first of all, here's the deal. The sky is not falling. Uh, there are plenty of options that are available. Ilford is doing very well. Uh, for a larger company and honestly um, even today with this news of Kodak going down that for black and white film particularly but also uh, for color films that there are, with black and white film definitely there are more choices available now to you than there ever were back in the day <laughs> where film was all you shot. Uh, there are a ton of choices um, you're not stuck to whatever the drugstore ordered uh, you can order it online and there are plenty of options available. Um, so a couple things you can consider on this, and the writing's been on the wall for a little while now because I noticed that Kodak has more or less discontinued um, Plus X, which was one of my favorite films that they made. It was a 125 speed film, just beautiful. Wonderful for portraits, great for landscapes, slower speed, so it was a little bit lower grain, pushed really well. Uh, one of my favorite films to push, actually, I just haven't got that advanced in the tutorials we've done yet. And you can still find some 35 millimeter online, uh, but it's definitely going away. So. What happens when something goes away and what do you do? Um, I, I certainly don't think it's a freak out point. I really hate the idea of Triax being gone forever. What I read today is that they are selling off the film division and they're selling a lot of their patents. So again, I don't know enough about the legal aspects of it. If, if there's somebody out here who does, uh, leave a comment and please share with the rest of us. Um, what I think would be ideal is Triax is such a valuable, look like sub-brand in a way, um, of, of it's a film product, that what would be great is to see them sell the licensing to somebody who could still produce it. I think that would be amazing. Um, we don't know what'll happen. I don't know enough of the legal ins and outs on that. And sometimes films go out of production and somebody will replicate the formula closely, but they'll call it something else and they're not allowed to advertise it. So I don't know what, what all is involved with the sale of the patent like that or the sale of the film division, but it would be really great to see that and maybe some of the other classic films come back. So somebody like Ilford or um, you know any of the other companies that make black and white film, uh, even I don't think Fuji would do it because I think they're starting to discontinue some of their black and white films. So. You know, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that the photography market, Kodak built this big thing over the years of making it easy for people to shoot photos. And so what the equivalent to today, you have people buying digital cameras like crazy point and shoots and SLRs and whatever. That was all film production back in the day. So it was this huge industry that built up that now has slumped off. And it's really, I hate to call what we do um, a niche, but it really is. Um, film is definitely a niche now. Um, so anyway, so if you are a Kodak fan and you are interested in Kodak films, as I am, you have one of two choices. You can abandon it now and start to switch. Um, Ilford makes wonderful films. Fuji makes wonderful films. Roly is making some wonderful films. Uh, there, there's no shortage of good black and white film out there. Um, 
it, same thing for color. Now, Kodak announced earlier this year, and they are definitely not producing uh, E6 um, slide transparency film anymore, so you have to already go with somebody else on that. Um, if you are really interested in Tri-X or Plus X or whatever it is that T-Max that, that, that suits your fancy, the other thing you can do is stockpile it. And so this means starting to buy large amounts of it from people like B&H or you know, Freestyle Photo or whoever it is that you like to buy film from and stick it in your freezer. Um, when you put film in a freezer or refrigerator, it does start to slow down the aging process. So refrigerating it can slow it down and freezing it slows it down a lot. So what you could do is fill your freezer full of Kodak film, which is probably what I will do a little of. The problem that I have with that is then you have this special reserve thing that you're reserving for certain things. And for me as a photographer, I don't really shoot that way. Sometimes the better shots that I take are not planned um, or certainly I didn't plan on you know having the right film in the camera and I don't know if it's really like that but anyway all that to say those are your two choices and I wish I could tell you more about Kodak right now um, if you do a Google News search on Kodak you can find just as much information as I've got so um, it's starting to look like Kodak will the writing is on the wall that they'll probably discontinue film production Kodak is such a strange company I mean tell me what their product is now they don't make digital cameras anymore. They sold uh, the Kodak um, photo sharing site off to Snapfish who immediately dissolved it. Um, so I, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the last 10 years their product has been, you know, crappy picture frames and things that you could find in, in camera stores that are now going out of business. So it's a really, uh, I, I'm really sad to admit that it's a dying industry. Um, please do not look at this and say film is dead or anything like that because it's certainly not. And I'll tell you, you know, if everybody closed their doors tomorrow and no more film were being produced, you can still make your own wet plates. And there is still analog photography that can be done. Um, I don't want to see film go away, certainly. Um, and that's not what this video is about. This is just simply some advisement on Kodak if you're a big Kodak user. Um, I think it's really sad to see some of their chemicals go away, but the, the, the shining light or the light at the end of the tunnel of all this is there is a company called Photographer's Formulary that I've talked about on here before. They make the fixer that I've talked a lot about. And Photographer's Formulary, um, they have a considerable amount of older type chemicals um, and some of the more obscure things that they replicate, which is really nice. And I would hope that maybe they'll take on some of the Kodak developers if they choose to sell the patents on that or don't want to do it. I don't know what these things are selling for and I really don't know much about it. So anyway, this is just a little Kodak brief today because I have been talking about Triax a lot lately and it really does kind of put a wet blanket on things because we've talked about Triax pushing so well. Um, just so you'll know, if you want some, some sources on this now, uh, Ilford HP5 is excellent. Um, it's a very comp it's very similar to Triax in a lot of ways. A little bit different look, but a very good film, just the same. Um, and there are more out there that do do the similar result thing. Um, you know, if you get the catalog or just go to their website, somebody like um, uh, freestylephoto.biz, um, a wonderful website, and they have a lot of stuff um, that is very appealing to people who like to do shoot traditional process. So anyway, just a little vlog post, vlog post today to talk about that some, and uh, you know, start thinking about it because it could be that Triax is gone. Uh, pretty soon and I don't want to be you know the sky is falling guy but uh, it's not looking good um, if you're really into Triax you can stockpile it and buy as much of it as you can to get in your freezer um, you're gonna have to keep it for a while um, if you're not um, that married to Triax maybe it's time to start shooting other things I don't know I, I, I it's a bummer that you have to give this news but um, hey you know what are you gonna do it's Kodak and uh, they're in legal trouble and um, you know uh, maybe it'll shake out, um, but it, you know, the worst case you have a fridge full of Triax, you know, not a bad, not a bad thing to have. So anyway, guys, once again, this has been the Art of Photography. I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.